such a, a huge summer of cricket, World Cup and then Ashes. With the results that you've got, do you look back at it and think that's pretty much job well done? That's a, a good summer as England could have hoped for? Um, look, I'll, I'll look back um, in years to come, I suppose, when, you know, when I'll be able to look back and sort of say, you know, the game's not as good as it was 30, 40 years ago, like others. Um, <laughs> look, I, I've said it plenty of times before, and, and um, the players are the ones that, that deserve the credit. The, the coaching staff can, you're there to give a little bit of direction and, and give the players help, but, um, you know, it's up to the players. If, uh, if they're not skillful enough to, uh, uh, you know, to win matches against the opposition or they're not good, you know, they can't improve, well, then you're not going to win matches. But these guys, these guys have got it within them. And I think we have seen, you know, enough of the guys improve even in test cricket, um, you know, to, to, to show you that, uh, you know, I think England are in a good place going forward. Uh, you know better than anyone about the pressures of being a coach. What are your thoughts on having separate coaches for the different forms of cricket? Um, look, it's been tried here before, um, and Ashley Giles was one of those coaches, and it's his decision um, coming up in the next few months. Um, look, to be honest, I, I don't know which way you go. I, I think at this stage you probably go for the one coach. I think if that happens, what you'll see is uh, maybe the head coach just getting a little bit more time away from the game. Um, you know, we know how tough it is on, on players, but you know, a lot of the, the coaching staff up, upstairs as well, are, uh, you know, they're looking forward to a break as well. Um, I think what that'll do as well is, is you know, we've got three England, English coaches at the moment um, as assistant coaches. I think if the head coach, if it's not one of those, um, and it could well be, um, if the head coach has a rest, I think you'll see those assistant coaches uh, have a turn at taking a, you know, a series or a short tour away somewhere. And that'll give, the next time you know, a job comes up uh, as the England head coach, then you've got two or three other guys with that experience and um, you know, might be able to choose uh, you know, an English coach. Trevor, have we uh, seen the last of you in international cricket? Um, I think so. Um, and I think uh, well, I said to you guys the other day, I think there's only a, only one job I'd take on in a full-time position now, I think. And that'd be the, well, that'd be the Australian job, but it's in pretty good hands. Um, some good young, you know, I think Justin's doing a, a, a great job with them uh, and some good young coaches uh, coming through the Australian system. So, um, you know, I'm looking forward to uh, sitting back and watching how that develops. You, you did briefly coach Australia in an interim capacity in a, in a, in a white ball series a, a few years back. There has been some talk about um, Australia maybe needing some more 2020 expertise in their in their program, whether it be selection or coaching or anything like that. Is it, rather than you know you talked about Justin, but is that sort of a role a, a plausible thing for you going forward? Um, look, I, I, I've I've assigned, I've signed up to do the IPL. Um, look, if there's if there's anything anyone in Australia wants me to uh, get involved in, I'm, I'm more than happy to. Uh, uh, you yeah, to listen, you yeah, know, what they might have in mind. Um, if I could help out, fantastic. If not, I'll enjoy sitting back and, you know, watching uh, the Australian and English boys go around. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content plus live streaming, make sure to subscribe to ESPN Player.